Today I'm going to count down the top games releasing on the Switch in the month of August, so let's dive straight in. Now to me this game looks very interesting, in Scully you hop, skip and roll through the island in this unique looking platformer. You can change into three different forms to overcome challenges and obstacles, explore 18 different levels and 7 unique ecosystems, each which have different dangers for our playable character. This little gem drops on the 4th of August and is retailing at $24.99 in the UK or $31.49 in the US. Let's be honest, no party sports game is probably ever going to be as groundbreaking as Wii Sports way back when it released over 10 years ago, but couch kart sports games are still super fun to play with friends and family. In this title you can go rafting, play archery, tennis, baseball and more. If you enjoy couch kart sports games this may be a good game for you when it comes out on the 7th. I'm a big fan of the Castlevania series, so when I heard we're getting Immortal Realms Vampire Wars, this really did pique my interest, but it wasn't what I was expecting, as this is a strategy game. In this entry, you command one of three unique vampire clans with distinctive unit powers and characters. This title has card game elements that enhance the gameplay and give a refreshing take on the genre. You command your armies, recruit new units, and unlock crucial technologies to help you progress. If you're into strategy games, this may be worth checking out when it releases on the 28th. Now, if you're a fan of golf, and in particular the PGA Tour series, then this is a must-have when it drops on the 21st. In this title, you've got an all-new PGA Tour career mode where you challenge to become the next FedEx Cup champion. PGA Tour pros and new courses including TBC Sawgrass, Eastlake Golf Club and more. To me, it looks like 2K Games have done another excellent job with the graphics on this game. And as a massive sports fan, I look forward to giving this one a go. Now this is a game that has been confirmed for the Switch for quite a while. It was initially set to release at the start of the year and had since been delayed. However, around two weeks ago we got the green light on the Square Enix site that will come out on August 27th. This action RPG with co-op elements captured fans' hearts when it initially released on the GameCube back in 2003. The remastered edition comes with new enhanced graphics, features and entirely new content. I for one cannot wait for this when it comes out on the 27th. The award-winning survival horror series Remothered returns with Remothered Broken Porcelain on the Switch. This title includes stealth gameplay where you have to distract enemies in order to escape. You also have challenging puzzles to solve and a roster of charismatic characters that you'll grow accustomed to. If you're into your horror games, this may be worth a look when it comes out on the 25th. Next up we have Bounty Battle the Indie Brawler, which is a Smash Bros clone with a roster of over 20 indie characters. This game includes a whole host of game modes from story mode, couch multiplayer, practice arena and more. Each character has their own moveset and special attack and you can mix and match to find your best playstyle. If you're a fan of brawlers this may be worth a go when it releases on the 14th.
Now, this one is a rumour, but the sources online seem pretty legit, and that's the release of Tomb Raider The Ultimate Experience, so we had a graphic pop up a few days ago saying it's coming on the 27th. If this is true, we'll be getting three Tomb Raider titles and one for the Nintendo Switch, which in my opinion is amazing news. I believe we'll be getting three remasters from the original Tomb Raider era on PS1. As I said, if all is true, I feel this is the biggest release of August and I cannot wait for this. No Straight Roads comes out on the last day of August and is described as a unique action-adventure game that combines rhythm combat of a vibrant world. In this game, you fight an evil empire and need the musical revolution to take back control of Vinyl City. Players can attack, jump and move freely to the music in order to progress in this game. This title looks pretty funky to me and I look forward to trying it out at the end of the month. So with the Switch, we always seem to get some weird and wonderful games, and that's no different with House Flipper. In House Flipper, you experiment with interior design with hundreds of unique items to help your designs come to life. The ultimate goal of the game is to manage your budget and make a profit. Estimate profit and find the best risk-reward ratio for you. This unique title is available in our homes from the 21st. Overall, a very quiet month for the Switch, and I'm hopeful we get some stealth drops announced in the coming weeks. What are your thoughts on this month? Let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up as it helps me grow, and subscribe for more future content. See you later, guys.